All right, deeper and deeper into the elf reincarnation arc we go. I don't even know if that's what the arc's called. It just seems like a fitting title. I am super excited though. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again, episode 103 of Black Clover. Let me write that down. Do not forget, guys, with the first and last episode of every opening of Black Clover, the full length version, which is normally available on Patreon as a tier, is available for free for all you guys. Click that link at the top of the description for that free full length. Come back here for the review. And if you guys enjoy that, consider keeping that on Patreon for the future. It's a great experience. Trust me, trust me, especially with movie reactions coming out soon. Last episode, we had a nice little recap, re-motivation of our boys, Austin, you know, and their goals to become Wizard King. Father is slowly dying of poison in front of us, and in a desperate need to fix him or help him, the sword that Licht had, one of the third demon swords, came out of Austin's grimoire, and we have no idea what it does, or at least I don't. I know you guys do, so I'm very curious to find out what happens there. Very excited. Now, I have been told by multiple people to not watch the openings from here on out until like the last episode of the opening to not get spoiled on things that will happen in the arc. So I am going to be skipping the openings from here on out until, like I said, until the last episode. So we'll see how that goes. I am excited, but I'm also sad that I don't get to hear the banger of the song except for one time. If there's a time, because there are times, like, especially with Naruto reactors like Normies and, and other people, there are times where they skip the opening until all the spoilers have been dealt with so they know and then they watch the openings is there a time at which like i can watch this the openings and it already has passed the spoiler i don't know if you get if there is let me know I, I really enjoy the black clover openings they're really good but don't forget to follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here much appreciated dapper squad let's hop into this black clover episode 103 release from misfortune let's do this Damn, I just skipped the opening and I feel sad. I really wanted to <laughs> I really wanted to hear it. Much smaller than the our main anti-magic sword. So I'm very curious. Yeah, what is he doing? Is he sucking out all the evil magic from other beings? I thought the demon dweller one was the one that could suck out the magic though. I wonder what he's doing. Very curious, but shouts out Asta. Good job. Oh yeah, that's a big relief. Yes, I, I, we need to use this in a fight now. Good point. Okay. Tell me about it, please. Damn it, you know, why'd you interrupt him? I love how he uses mana zone too, it's so dope. He's just like, I'm, I'm beyond confused, what is going on? <laughs> hey, I would be confused as well, I feel you, I actually am confused. We actually get his backstory. He was homies with Raya and he had this magic beforehand. That's a good analogy. I like that. Yeah, just because you don't know. That's nice. Lick genuinely seemed like a good a good elf, like a good person back in the day. I am very curious though. I know a lot of you guys said my answer, my questions will be answered. And I, I was very, I was like, hmm, I know Fauna was no coincidence that Fauna had the same name, the same exact look, and seemingly the same power. But were all elves who have been reincarnated, aka most of the nobles and the people who've seen be, we've seen be reincarnated? Did they all have the same magic beforehand? Like, did Luck, did Luck's 500 year ago elf form also have lightning magic? And like, because their hand, mm, I'm so curious because he, I don't know his name yet. I don't know if they've said it. I'm upset that I didn't catch it, but had the same look, design, and magic. Oh, it's so curious. Ah, I have so many questions. God damn. The horrible moment. 
He's not doing the self-destruct magic, is he? Oh, no. Like, I don't care what happens to me as long as I take you tainted humans down with me. Yeah, we don't want that. So this is the new sword. And what happens if you hit them with the new sword? The ring disappears. The magic around them starts to dissipate. And he looks like he gained back to human form. I always be doing these commercial cuts at the worst time. I'm like, damn it, I want to keep watching. Okay, I'm excited to see it, but I want to know more. Yeah, good job, Nash. Good job, Asta, and you know. <laughs> Just the job of a magic knight. That's what we do. I knew he was going to say that. I... No hesitation. <laughs> oh, and he's starting. He's gonna be like a darkness from Konosuba. He's gonna be a sadist. Keep hitting me. Keep hitting me. I wish we had time to tell you. It's a long story. Yes, but we gotta go help the capital because it's still going on over there. Oh, I guess they are gonna tell him. Okay. That's true. So they told them, but meanwhile, back at the capital. Who was that? <laughs> and then the boss named Lil was super, super strong. That's how I'd be talking to <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, I don't know how you understood him, but good job, father. Ah, that's a valid point. <laughs> so it really does take out the reincarnated part of him, Digit. DG. Makes sense. Horse face berries. Those actually look like some pretty good strawberries. Really? The the elf version of DG really did seem like a kind person as well. Just wanted to, you know. So I wonder what's compelling them to attack humans. Because the soul inside of them didn't want to do that. Of course. Of course. Eevee, yeah, I agree. I love this song too. They played it during like some of the happier moments of the show. Absolutely fantastic song. To think how much they've changed. They really truly have grown into fine young men. And they wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. <laughs> oh my god we get a luck versus magna the other dynamic duo i don't want to see that at all i feel so bad for magna he has no idea what's even going on he's going to be so confused man can i watch the ending i don't know if i can Oh, no, I can't. Fuck, it already looks like a spoiler. Man, that was, uh, that was great. Let's get into this Petite Clover. Well, I can tell next episode is definitely going to be Luck and Magna, and I'm not looking forward to that because Magna, like a lot of the humans, has no idea what's going on, and Luck is his boy, his motivation, his rival, everything. Oh, man, that's going to be horrible.
but I'm very curious at what DG was saying, how these elves who, at least in his particular case, because he could feel the elf soul, you know, it's somewhat of a push and pull type feeling that he could tell is the elf soul in him did not want this. It seems to be like Patry's will is like being forced upon these elf reincarnated souls and you know because he despises humans and if worse comes to shove push come to shove they're going to use another forbidden spell uh, he had like the reincarnation circle again and was going to turn into something else like you know was saying no idea what that could or will be i'm sure we're going to see it once or twice but thank the lord Asa's new sword is super dope and handy and we can use that can someone if it's spoilers obviously don't tell me if it's not spoilers can you tell me the details of the sword not like where it came from this that and the other but just like the demon slayer sword is anti-magic it cuts magic disables magic the demon dweller sword sucks up magic and is able to repel said sucked up magic but what is this one called nah maybe i'll learn the name you don't have to tell me the name what does this one do does this one also suck up magic does it just is it an anti-magic suck up mat? Like, is it a combination? I'm so confused and curious at the same time. I know this, the rest of this arc and these next episodes are just going to be crazy good moments because it's going to be our characters versus the characters we love. And then it's going to be crazy good fights because it's going to be our characters versus the characters we love. So I'm so excited. Very much looking forward to it. If you guys are excited as well, make sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length. We are four episodes ahead for you guys. If you guys enjoyed, I don't know what else I was going to say. But don't forget to drink some water. Be safe out there. Tell somebody you love them. Thank you so much for being over here, Dapper Squad. Peace.